excited about 2016 because this mountain you will overcome by faith. Amen? It could be financial, it could be physical, it could be relational, but with God, nothing is impossible and you can do it. Now, it, it will swing the door up to, towards a miracle. Now, when you imagine a door, a door is always put on a small hinges, right? Big doors and heavy doors just swing and they are only carried by small hinges. My friends, your faith doesn't have to be big. The Bible says if you have the faith of a mustard seed, the Bible says you can even tell this mulberry tree to be removed and thrown into the sea, and it will. My friends, all we need to do is to start with small faith, trusting God with every small details of our lives, and the bigger will just be the same to God. Amen? There are no big things and small things for God. They're all the same, but it's up for us to trust Him in an increasing measure. Amen? As small as a mustard seed. First, faith shrinks my problem. Second, it opened the door for miracles. Let me tell you this. When, uh, when, uh, when uh, Jesus uh, visited uh, Martha and Mary and their brother Lazarus was already dead, and when he went into the tomb and he said, uh, open the tomb. And they said, Jesus, Lazarus has been dead for two days. He said, open the tomb. These people believed in Jesus Christ and they rolled the stone. They opened the tomb. And then Jesus made a miracle. Sometimes in our lives, we should roll the stone because Jesus does the miracle. Amen? There, are, there is a participation on our part that the miracles of God will only take place if we believe in Him and obey in Him. Amen? So your faith, just roll the stone, Jesus will do the miracle. And, it's, you, and you have to obey Him in spite or in spite of your feelings because faith is not about your feelings. It's about what He says. The third thing, faith moves God to act on my behalf. I'm not saying that you name it and claim it and God has to do it. Wherein God is like our genie and then, yet, Lord, you do this because, I, because this is what I want. It is not that. He is God and we are His people. But what's important for us to know that if God tells us, gives us a promise in line with His Word, He will do it. And if we believe by faith. Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, it says, According to your faith, it will be done to you. That means if you have small faith believe God for small things you will get what you look for and if you believe God for greater things God will give you greater things and if you ask nothing and believe and expect God for nothing he will not do anything as well amen so it depends on what you want it depends on what you do but for me I know God is a blesser. And I want to be a blesser like God. So I ask in faith to God, God, I want to bless others because first, you have blessed me with eternal life. So therefore, what will I do in return? Lord, as you have blessed me with eternal life, I want this life that must count to eternity. I want to serve you. The Bible says those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for the one who died for him and was raised again. So therefore, my, my life on this earth has no bearing except it is a life of faith. And therefore, Lord, what will I believe in for you? And because God is a blessed, so then I want to be like you. And I believe God for greater things. Lord, bless me that I can bless others. And therefore, the blessings of God in my life is a means to an end, not an end in itself. Amen? So because you see God as a blesser and you begin to accept God as, as a blessing and you want to be a blesser, God will bless you. I'm not doing this telling you to manipulate you, Lord, I want to bless people so that you will bless me. No, it is because you will have been blessed of God first. Amen? The greatest thing that we are grateful for from God is our salvation. Life on this earth is very short. 
compared to the eternity that we are going to, to face. And I like what uh, God uh, said to Abraham. Abraham, I will bless you. I will exceedingly bless you. And all the families of the earth will be blessed because of you. This is what cross culture is all about. That we want to cross all boundaries and bless them as well. With a gospel and that with every material need that we can have. You know there are two things that God has given you. Influence and affluence. God has given you influence that no money can buy. God has given you affluence that you have so much money that you can use it for the greater use. What do you do with those two things? Because one of these days we will face God is going to ask you, what have you done with the money I gave you? What have you done with the people that are influenced by you and you have not used them for good? Amen? So, as a matter of fact, I am here in the United States not because I had so much money, I had $2 in my pocket. I came here as a tourist. And now I'm a U.S. citizen. For what? For what? To preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And to bless the nation where I came from. So everything is a means to an end. God will bless you because He wants you to be a blessing. Amen. It is God's pleasure providing for you. It is God's pleasure watching you succeed. You know, the, the Lord has pleasure in His saints succeeding. Amen? So my faith in God is for Him to bless me because I want to bless others also because it is who God is. He is a blesser. Amen? I like what, uh, the, I like what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25. When you refresh others, you will be refreshed as well. When you refresh others, you will be refreshed as well. When you get a hose and, and water the plants, when you open the faucet, guess what? The hose also gets wet. It's not only the plants, right? Amen? Hallelujah. So have faith. The, the fourth thing. Faith gives me power to hold on in tough times. That's why we need to know about faith these coming weeks because we know that there are going to be tough times in 2016. Let me ask you, lately, just 30 days ago, how many of you had tough times? How many had a snag? Just 30 days before. I'm not going to tell you about 60 days or just 30 days you had a snag. But my friends, it is your faith that will help you in the tough times. Because faith doesn't always take you out of the problem. Faith op often takes you through the problem. Faith doesn't always take you, take away the pain, but it gives you the ability to handle the pain. You will always have pain. You will always have suffering in your life. Faith gives you the ability to handle it. It won't take you out of the storm, but it will calm you in the storm. Sometimes the Lord does not take the storm out, but he, but he comes His child. He might not come the storm, but He will calm you. Amen? In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 and 9, let's take a look at that verse. The Apostle Paul, he said this, We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Why? Because of his resiliency, because of his perseverance in faith. Amen? He was able to endure all things. So what are we going to do in the coming weeks? I'd like you to commit that beginning next next week, we're going to give you a, a, a video. You can join a small group. If you are not yet joining in a small group, please join a small group so that you can watch six weeks of videos of faith building material and discussion in small groups, in homes. And I'd like you to uh, come every Sunday for nine weeks and hear messages on faith that will build you up. As I said before, if there's anything that you need to increase is, the, is your faith. Amen? Not your portfolio, not your income, not your position, but your faith. We want you to grow. 
We want you to be grounded in faith. We want you to grow in faith. We want you to go in faith.